Hi, so in this video, we're gonna compare between the desktop motherboard and the laptop motherboard. So we're gonna see the difference between component here, a laptop motherboard, and in the desktop motherboard. So let's get started. So let's begin first with the processor. So here, basically, this is the processor for the desktop motherboard. As you can see, we have this handle over here. Okay, this is the CPU socket and to remove the processor, as you can see, we remove this part and then we can remove the processor easily, as you can see. Okay, so, and for the laptop, as you can see here, we have basically this mat that we use to remove the processor. So I will show you in this motherboard, for example. So this is the processor. You should just turn this nut to open direction and remove the processor easily. Okay. Then here we have the north bridge, as you can see, or the south bridge. Here also we have the north bridge under the headset. Here we have the ICH, okay. And for the laptop, we have the ICH, the same SH. Sometimes the same ICH used in both in, in desktop motherboard and laptop motherboard. So basically, the power for the desktop motherboard here we have this connector, the ETX connector, okay, and also this one for the CPU. But for the laptop motherboard, we have just as you can see the power jack okay we use just the power jack to power the laptop motherboard we have the cmos battery here we have the cmos battery here so this is the ram the ram slot the random access memory for the desktop and we have the ram for the laptop as you can see here we have the clock generator ic with the <coughs> crystal oscillator here also we have the clock generator, IC with crystal oscillator. This is for clock, for timing. Basically, the inductors in the desktop motherboard as are bigger, but here in the laptop motherboard, as you can see, are slightly smaller, as you can see. So here we have electrolytic capacitors in the desktop motherboard, but in the laptop motherboard, we can find just 10 teram capacitor like these capacitors as you can see so in the desktop motherboard we find the mosfets as you can see in the shape three terminal mosfet as you can see over here okay but in the laptop motherboard we find eight pin mosfets as you can see for the ceramic capacitors as you can see the same here we have ceramic capacitors here also we have ceramic capacitors as you can see so for the desktop motherboard, this is basically connectors, B connectors, okay? And for laptop motherboard, this is connectors. USB connectors, desktop motherboard, USB connectors, laptop motherboard, okay? Here we have RG45, RG45. Audio connector, so we have audio connector in the other side of motherboard. Here we have VGA, we have VGA. We have printer and serial for desktop motherboard. So we have here, as you can see, card this is network card and wi-fi card and for here in order to connect the wi-fi or any network card we should use the slots okay so in this of motherboard we can find this type of capacitors or this type of capacitors and of course the same for laptop motherboard we can find also this type of capacitors so we have cpu we have the north bridge we have the ICH or the third bridge. So basically this is inductor, electrolytic capacitors. Here we have ICs, here we have MOSFETs, a terminal MOSFETs. This is basically the super IO, super input output. Okay, this is the audio IC. Here we have ceramic capacitors, as you can see. This is basically 10 telem capacitors. Okay, 10 telem capacitors. This also have 10 telem capacitor. So this is RAM. You can find also 10 ton capacitor in this color, white, in yellow color. Okay, so this is network resistors as you can see here. So crystal oscillator. So for disks of motherboard as you can see, so we have the CPU, the north bridge, the ICH, 
or have the super IO or the keyboard controller, clock generator IC, crystal, here we have the bezel, here we have inductors, electrolytic capacitors, of course we have MOSFETs, also A terminal MOSFETs, so this is the RAM, RAM slot, the power connector for the CPU, as you can see we have inductor, we have MOSFETs over here, this is SATA connector basically, so for the laptop motherboard, the connector for SATA are this one, as you can see, this kind of connector, uh, so as you can see, this kind of connector, so the connector for power, air connector for the hard disk drive, as you can see, we have jumper, crystal oscillator, CMOS battery, this is the, v, the AGP to connect the, the graphic card, as you can see, the AGP to connect external graphic card, here we have PCI to connect other external card like USB card, network card, etc. Okay, so here we have ceramic capacitors, as you can see. Here we have also three terminal transistors, as you can see here. And for the desktop motherboard, here you will find just path, nothing here. Okay, just path, as you can see, at connections. Okay, but for the laptop motherboard, both here we have components and also if we here in the back we have other components okay so this is different between as you can see desktop motherboard and laptop motherboard so thank you very much and uh, please don't forget to subscribe share and like the video because your likes motivate me to create more and more videos for you thank you very much